Hey guys, this is ZG Animator, and today we're going to be working with iBoat uh, drivers. Really easy thing to do, really fun thing to do. And um, it really optimizes animation workflow. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video. Subscribe to my page if you like my stuff. And uh, add me as a friend if you need a friend. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the queue. And we're going to add a monkey. That's what we're going to animate. Now let's give it some shape keys. Uh, I've already made a shape key tutorial, so if you don't know how to use shape keys yet, just go ahead and check that out. So press add shape key. Now add another shape key. Press tab to go into edit mode. And so box select this with B, and box select the same with B. Box select this right here in the middle, and just drag that up on the Y axis to right about there. Just scale it up a little bit. So let's press tab to go back. And now it looks like it's smiling. That's pretty cool. So now let's animate it. Just split the area. Just right click this part and click anywhere above here. Just change this to action editor. Add a new one. Okay, now this is frame one. So let's go to frame 11. And make sure on frame one that uh, this is on zero. Go to frame 11. Just turn that to one. Okay, now if we press play. It smiles very subtly and quickly. Okay, so now I want something to manipulate that animation. So first things first, let's just set up the everything here. Go to IPO Curve Editor. Change this from Object to Shape since we're working with Shape Keys. And press A over here in this window to select all of the vertices. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode over here. Go to Point interpolation mode linear extend mode extrapolation and now it just keeps going so if I press play keeps you know smiling like that but you know we want something to control that so now just have to go out of edit mode now that we're in um, over here we can um, add a, a, an object and most people use armatures so let's, or bones so let's just go ahead and add armature. Move that to the side. Press R X minus 90. So it'll face like that. All right. Then. Let's turn this to B bone or stick. Yeah, stick is better. Let's name this driver since this is going to be our, dri our driver. Let's go over here in the edit tab, uh, the OB object, and turn it to driver. Now select this. Now when you're over here, press N to turn up the transform properties. We press add driver. Now this adds a driver, but we have to um, tell Blender what we want to manipulate that animation. So just put in driver, since that's what we named our bone. And now it says object uh, location X, and all of these things right here. Can I explain that? This means that while you're in object mode, and you move it on uh, the X axis, and because lo there's location, rotation, and scale, so this is movement location. And this right here means that the minimum distance that it has to be to play the basis sh shape is one, and the max is two is eleven. Let's go ahead and turn that to three. Now let's see if this works. And as you can see, as we move it over, it keeps playing. And also when we move back. It also minimizes it. It does the opposite, so it's a really cool thing to do. You can change this, like so the y-axis is moving up, up, up. It, it goes like that. It's really simple. Let's see. There's um, scale on the y-axis. S y. Now that doesn't seem to work because of the settings I have here, but uh, the location is really pretty good for this. And um, that that's um, kind of pretty much all there is to it. The only uh, thing else that I would say that is noteworthy is that you can have it also in pose mode, but you know it's pretty much the same settings. And yeah, and you can have a bunch of different um, animations with this, and this is how they have it with most Blender um, animation sequences. And yeah, so this is a really fun and easy thing to do. So if you like my tutorials, uh, comment rate this video, subscribe to my page, and check out my other tutorials. So, thanks for watching.